Hi everyone, I am back with the WebEx Auth Flow Part 2. In the Part 1, we have successfully got the authorization code. Okay, you can see that here. Okay, and in this Part 2, we will use this authorized code and get the access token and refresh token. Okay, so I am just going to stop that API and just navigating to the WebEx helper. And first, I am just including or importing the Axios. Okay, Axios and uh, const a string. Okay, and just typing here to s. Okay, and then just first we will get the token URI. So token URI will be. We must be copy that from here. And just necessary change authorized to access token. Okay, and then let I will say the cost data. And I think before that we must reset the payload. Okay, so payload will be QS or the stringify. Okay, and we said here code, code will be code. Okay, client ID, we must get that client ID from environment variable secret, and then we also have a redirect URI. Okay, and I think we have all the things so we must be first copy the client id process dot env and paste client id and copy the client secret environment variable and just say process env dot webex client secret and redirect to our process dot env dot copy the redirect panel Okay, just format it. Okay, now just building the request. Okay, and here we will set the URL with the token URL and method will be post and headers. We set the content type will be xww form url encoded and we have a data payload okay and then just dot then response response we will return response okay and page error and return error okay and return data just format it okay and i think we must replace a breakpoint here and let's start the api okay just navigate to the browser and hit localhost Four four thousand API authorized WebEx. Okay, we have a code. Now just build the payload and send the request. I think we must be place a breakpoint here and here. Send it. Okay, we have got the response. Okay, so data is still, I think, data is still nothing inside that. So I think oh, we have a missed patient slash. Okay, so type a mistake. Start. Just once again. Okay. 
slash if authorize webex okay send request oh we have got some error okay just see the response in data oh missing grant type okay so we must be saved in another grant type organization code okay in in start and from here local host four thousand guys webex okay. let's check this okay inside the data we have access token expiry time refresh token and refresh to expiry time and all the scopes which we have already configured on our webex or that okay so have you got that and in the next sessions we will keep deep deep dive with the auth uh, webex auth app and uh, request made requested to the webex rest api as furthermore okay hope you got that bye bye